Welcome everybody to the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl here in Ford Field where the St. Thomas Tommies representing the MAC Conference will be taking on the Maryland Terrapins representing the Big Ten. This is St. Thomas' second bowl game in the last two years. We're definitely going to look to win our second bowl game in a row here. So it's going to be a really good one. So make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you're new. Let's go ahead and see if we can take down the Terrapins from the Big Ten. Alright fellas, today we got to go out on a field to play against a team that, where frankly many experts think are going to whip our ass. But you know what? Games aren't decided on a piece of paper even though they mean better on us and there. We do. With our effort, with our heart, with our determination, man. Lord knows I want to be out here on this field with you, but it just simply wasn't in the cards for me. We could forfeit this game right now and still look back at this day, this season, as one of the best seasons to ever happen in St. Thomas history. But you know what? I want more. And I know many of you want more. So let's go out there. Play St. Thomas football. And no matter what happens out there. We can still keep our heads high. Let's go and get this win. Tommy's on free. One, two, three. Tommy's! So with that inspirational speech by Tyler Graham, it's time to officially get things underway here at the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl. And I know Kajai Boy definitely listened to it because he's got some space to work. He's going down the sideline and he is gone. Touchdown, Tommies! As Kajai Boy opens it up very early on the first play of the game, taking a 7-0 lead. That's exactly how you want to start a bowl game. And now we'll see what the Terrapins are made of after giving up a kick return for a touchdown. First play, they go to Brandon Harris, their tight end, who does pick up 12 yards. Taking our safety for a little bit of a ride, you hate to see it. But now, we got first and 10 once again. Tucker dropping back. He gets sacked in the backfield and it looks like Brett Smart gets in there. The career backup for this guy. Able to come in there and played inspired for Tyler Graham, man. You love to see it. As now, second and 17. Brandt, he's now breaking a bunch of tackles. He picks up 12 on that play. And it's a nice gain for these Terrapins. As we go to third and five coming up here. Looks like they're going to go with the halfback screen. But you already know we're all over. And the Terrapins have to punt it back to the Tommy's football team. So now here is our first look at the Tommy's offense for today. Antoine Johnson's going to take the snap in the shotgun and hand it off to Lucas Coley right away. He picks up nine yards on that one. You will definitely love to see that. Nice play. And early and often, we're going to go to Lucas Coley, man. But we fake it to him this time around. No, we go with Antoine Johnson. They try to key in on Coley, but Johnson's got some speed too. He picks up a fresh set of downs, and now... Allen, he gets a catch as well. Nice nine yard gain. So now, second and one coming up. Johnson, he's going to try to throw it over the middle, but it's broken up by Anthony Murray. Was honestly nearly picked off. Very fortunate that it was not. And now we're still able to keep this drive alive. As now we'll go up the middle with Coley. He barely picks up that first down. Still able to keep that thing rolling though. And now it's first and ten. Coley up the middle. Another carry up the gut. He picks up eight on that one. Another solid run for this halfback. He's really making the most of this bowl game. Three carries for 19. You love to see that. And you also love to see Antoine Johnson out in the open. 17 yards on that one. And we got a fresh set of downs where Johnson this time will be Dropping back to pass, trying to go over the middle, and it's nearly intercepted. There's that gunslinger mentality that nearly doesn't work for us at all. But we got the ball still. And because we have that ball still, we'll go to Isaiah Thomas on the curl route. Gain of 18. St. Thomas is moving this thing down the field and taking the most of these opportunities, man. As we're inching closer and closer. 
Can we make this a 14 to nothing lead here? We got second and three. Johnson looking, going over the middle, finding Alex Garcia into the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. And the Tommies are on the board once again, opening up with a 14 0 0 lead against Maryland from the Big Ten Conference. Just making them look silly right now. As now the Terrapins will strike back again. They're back on the field. They go to their star tailback, Jason Jones. 12-yard gain after breaking a couple tackles. The, the contain was good initially, but we got to wrap up, as you saw right there. And it's a fresh set of downs as you try to go upfield. Looks like to their receiver in Marcus Sharp, another 11-yard gain. So now, first and 10, Tucker going up the sideline. He's got some space to work with, but he's eventually brought down from behind by Buster Porter, who does have some All-American potential in him as well. As you see, his star, definitely an impact player for us. As now, first and 10, we got Josh Tucker upfield for 10. We're looking to get their first points of this game there on the edge of the red zone as Tucker dropping back. Going to find Harris over in the middle. It's another first down. You know, they're not really killing us with that long passing game, but they are definitely, you know, doing what they need to do for sure. As we're here, second and seven now. Tucker dropping back. Going to throw over in the middle. It's Joel Wyatt in the end zone for the touchdown. Just very clean pocket is able to deliver a great strike. And that's how the Terrapins will get on the board here in the Little Caesars Peace Bowl. As we are now set to kick things back off, Kajaye Boyd waiting to receive his kick as he's already got one touchdown in the cards. Can he make it two? He certainly got the space. One more man to beat, and he's drugged out of bounds at about midfield. Man, if it wasn't for that toe tackle that forces out of bounds, we would have probably had a second touchdown but instead, it's great field position, which we'll use to get Lucas Coley going some more. He takes a big shot, lit up like a Christmas tree, but still able to pick up eight regardless. As the running game has been running to absolute perfection right now. Johnson doing whatever he wants to do at this juncture of the game. Is now first and ten. Going to Isaiah Thomas. He gets hit hard, but bounces right back up. That's a very... Tough kid right there, if I say so myself. And now, first and ten. Trying to go to Thomas again, but this time, it's broken up by 46 of the Maryland football team. So now we got third and ten here, in towards the back end of his third, first quarter. As we find Rashad Bird, but he drops the pass for us. And we're going to go ahead and settle for a field goal. Pat Hampton is perfect so far on this season. The kick is up, though, and it's no good. Pat Hampton, for the first time this season, misses a field goal. And that is something you don't see from Pat Hampton. He is usually money on those kicks. Because that's how his first quarter is going to end. Maryland has a chance to come back and tie this game. So we'll now see if they can go ahead and do that first and 10. First play of the second quarter. They're going to go over the middle, find Brent Newton, who does pick up nine yards on that play. But we do get him to a third and one, though. Would love to get him to a three and out right away as they go to Jeff Jones, who does get brought down by Billy Mitchell eventually, but it is far too late, though. Instead, we have first and 10 once again and we bring them right back as Billy Mitchell and Zach Bones read that perfectly working as a team that's exactly what our crippled middle linebacker would have wanted as we're just playing hard for our guys right now another incompletion broken up by Billy Mitchell and we get him to a third and 14 just gotta play smart here don't let anything behind us as they go over in the middle to Allen but we do come up and make the tackle, though. We will make them settle for another punt. Your offense is back on this field, man. Just playing lights out so far. As here we go. First and 10, new drive. Trying to get it to Lucas Coley. But it's off the mark, though. 
But we'll try that again though. Another play action coming on the way. We'll see if it yields better results. We're looking down this field. We find Kajaye Boyd who does get a little bit of space. And a little bit of space is sometimes all he needs. Using that elite athleticism. This man definitely needs to be in the NFL for sure. And so does Antoine Johnson as he's breaking it down the sideline. A huge gain on that play. But it does come at a price as looks like got a little shaken up on the play. So Noah Brooks will be coming into the game for a, at least a little bit until we know what's going on with that injury. So now Noah Brooks is in the pocket. He's dropping back. He's going to throw over to Isaiah Thomas and nothing is changing. It's still a St. Thomas touchdown. That is also the first touchdown pass for Noah Brooks in his collegiate career. As we force Merrill into another free and out. Antoine Johnson's also back on the field ready to take things back over. As we go to Jamie Smith. He is able to flatten a guy. Absolute pancake right there. Nearly a first down too. You love to see it. And now Johnson over in the middle. Finds Kajaye Boyd but takes a massive shot right there. Still able to hang on though. Just loving the effort that these guys are putting in. Even though it's not the most talented bunch for sure. And now it's second and ten. Johnson dropping back. Going over in the middle. Finding Alex Garcia able to use the big body to leverage his way into the first down marker. Alex Garcia is a little quiet. Only That's only his second catch today. But I'm sure we'll do what we can to get him more involved soon. As there's Johnson again taking it up the field for a gain of six. Even though he was hurt earlier in this game, man, he has no fear in his heart whatsoever. Just got to keep rolling with the fella as Coley going to take it up the field. Eight-yard gain. Another great first down. Everything's simply going right for St. Thomas right now. As we have this first and ten. Can Coley get into the end zone here? He does have the outside, but he's just simply not fast enough. But it's all good, though. We'll just go ahead, finish it up real quick, and we do. Touchdown, Tommy's once again. And it ties the school record for most touchdown passes in a season for Antoine Johnson. He's now sitting at 27. So we'll definitely look to see if he ends up breaking that record. But first, got to get this stop on defense, which we surely do. Another free and out for the Terrapins as they just can't get out of their own way right now as they gotta kick it back to this electric football player named Kajaye Boyd he only has like seven kickoff returns for a touchdown so far and you can see why he's able to take it to the outside using that speed and there wasn't much there initially but was able to carve nothing into something though and now St. Thomas you know unfortunately for us we couldn't get anything going essentially a free and out but we still ha had a great first half man up 28 to 7 that's exactly how we want to play right now man that's how we want to do things even with, when we got this ball you know I'm just trying to put some daggers into him I'm not trying to let anybody come back right now as Isaiah Thomas actually that's marked incomplete I thought Isaiah Thomas got the foot down that was not the case but I'm sure Lucas Coley can do something for us, though. He picks up seven more yards. Nearly a first down, but again, don't want to go free and out right now. Can't afford it. And now, let's see what we do here. Who's it going to go to? It goes to Coley. He bounces it out to the outside. He breaks a tackle. He almost breaks a second tackle as well. Lucas Coley, man, is just bouncing off defenders right now. And it comes to a first and ten. Johnson going up the field and gonna pick up some more yards you love to see it you definitely love to see that man as now here we go second and five Johnson in the shotgun gonna go over the middle to find Isaiah Thomas he picks up some more yards for us definitely keeping this thing rolling like a mofa as my boy Craniac Gaming would say as Coley's gonna go up the gut for seven more just a pulverizing performance on the ground. Almost 200 yards on the ground, man. And at this point, we got to get the fullbacks involved, too, as we see a little glimpse of fullback U. Ryan Sanders gets to the end zone for the first time this entire season. 
that's it's gonna be his final collegiate game too so you know when we got these nice leagues nice to get more people involved than usual as we'll keep getting Lucas Coley involved he picks up five more yards off of that little wheel route next play Antoine Johnson sits in the shotgun he's gonna go over the middle and find Rashad Bird who does make the catch for us this time around this time for a gain of 26 on that play is Johnson going over in the middle finding Isaiah Thomas can he get back up yes he does he somehow stays on his feet even though it looked like he was down and the play was dead picking up that first down is that kind of effort that has given us this great lead right now man as we you know just enjoying this 35 to 7 lead and now second and set two Johnson looking goes to Isaiah Thomas he gets lit up like a Christmas tree and to be honest with you guys if we get into his end zone I might sim out I just feel bad for Maryland right now just put the backups in you know what I'm saying as we try to get it to Alex Garl we put the <laughs> final dagger in but it's incomplete just a bad pass and now third and goal can Kanjaye Boyd punch it in the end zone for us and yes he does touchdown Tommy's Kajaye Boyd gets his second touchdown and that's how this thing rolls man that's how the cookie crumbles and that is how you end your season man a dominating win over the Maryland Terrapins in the Little Caesars Peace Bowl and, it, and the tone was always set by Kajaye Boyd man playing in his final collegiate game don't know if he's going to make it to the NFL but he does have a special place in the history of his St. Thomas dynasty as it was a pole for rising win once again you see the Maryland you know bench just absolutely disappointed that they lost to a former division three football team as there's Kajaya Boyd he was named player of the game Antoine Johnson had a great game as well and this is the final score man your Tommies do end up winning this game by a final score of 49 to 14. What a great way to end this season. I can't wait to see what the future holds for this entire dynasty in general. So did somebody call Slaughterhouse? Because we set Ford Field on absolute fire today. Just destroying the Terrapins in every single way, shape, or form. Even to a point where we're able to get into the, the backups in once again in the fourth quarter. And you know, it's a great win to end this season if I say so myself. So checking out the stats for our guys today. Antoine Johnson got the start once again. Was 17 for 26. 205 yards, 2 scores. Did have that one interception towards the end of that first half. But can't blame the decision making on that. Just was a bad throw. Noah Brooks, you know, got a little bit of a uh, rehearsal for what could potentially uh, be what it could look like when he becomes a starting quarterback next season. There may be a competition battle between true freshman Woody, Willie Hood and Noah Brooks, but today Noah Brooks showed that he can do it as well. 7 for 8, 68 yards, 2 touchdowns. For the running game, you know, we had a lot of guys get involved and in a good way as well. Lucas Coley and Kajaya Boyd each have 13 carries and made the best out of those opportunities. Kajaya Boyd getting into the end zone. Johnson led the team in total rushing yards though. He had 90 yards on the ground. Mostly off of that 43 yard scramble. You love to see it. And then we got our fullback Ryan Sanders in his final collegiate game. We were able to give this man a carry and was able to uh, bulldoze in there. For a touchdown the receivers you know was anchored mainly by isaiah thomas once again he was an absolute stud today eight catches 81 yards and two touchdowns today you love to see it he wasn't the only person getting to the end zone though Tariq miller was able to find the end zone in garbage time in the fourth quarter then alex garcia i believe caught a pass from noah brooks that did result in a touchdown as well the defense was headlined by Joe Henry today. This man was all over this football field in his final game. He had nine tackles, one TFL. Didn't force any turnovers, but was a true difference maker out there on the field. We also was able to get to this quarterback one time today in the first quarter. It was Brett Smart, who was who is traditionally a reserve linebacker, 
You know, he made the most of the opportunity with Tyler Graham being hurt right now. He got a couple of tackles, one of which was a sack. And then, you know, we didn't force any turnovers today, but, I mean, this defense was just out of this world. Forced a ton of free and outs, which is why you didn't really see many, um, you know, didn't see too many highlights of our defense, because we were just doing what we need to do to slow them down. Maryland just couldn't get anything going. So there it is, man. That little Caesars Pizza Bowl trophy, and even though it's not the most important bowl game in the world, that still is an extremely cool trophy, which we'll gladly add into the collection as that is how season seven is going to win a huge bull win against the maryland terrapins next episode we will go into you know the season recap as well as see some off-season stuff go down in season seven definitely you know in a position to really leap ourselves to become a nationally known program so i hope you guys are ready for a ride but until then Make sure you smash that like button as well as subscribe if you had to be new. This is John Jay Gaming on the mic, hoping you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.